We must turn from we our must, evil ways. We must turn from our evil ways. Jesus Christ is the only Jesus way to heaven. Jesus Christ is the only way into heaven. And he's returning soon. And, and he's returning soon. And when he returns, he's coming back with and a when bunch he returns, of angels. He's coming back with a bunch of angels. And all who are not serving and all Jesus, who are not serving Jesus, will be burned and sent to hell. Will be burned and sent to hell. But the angels will gather but all the, the true followers of Jesus Christ. The followers of Jesus Christ. So serve him now before so it's too late. So serve him now before it's too late. Your soul is at stake, and I love you. Your soul you. is at stake, and I love you. But God hates you if you're in but sin. But God hates you if you're in sin. You must turn from your sin so you God can love you. Must turn from your sin so God can love you. Give your soul to Jesus Christ. Give your soul to Jesus Christ. He's worthy. He's worthy. Would you like to hear the gospel? Yeah. All right, man, follow me. We have all fallen short of the glory of God, man. We have all sinned. Lying is a sin. Al being drunk is a sin. Stealing is a sin. Murder is a sin. Homosexuality is a sin. These things are sins. Fornication. Adultery. But we have all fallen... Wait, 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 what? Come over here, I'll tell you, man. I don't want to get shot. Alright, I can talk from here if you want. We have all fallen short of the glory of God, man. We have all sinned. Lying's a sin. Al being drunk's a sin. Fornication's a sin. Adultery's a sin. Homosexuality's a sin. All these things are sins. We have all fallen short. But God is so merciful... That he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to pay for our fines on the cross. And when he died, he paid for the sins of humanity. And he arose from the dead on the third day. And if you confess with your lips that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe that he paid for your sins on the cross, the Bible says you will be saved. Now, what does it mean to truly believe in Jesus? It means to turn away from your sins. It means to no longer sin. It means to do a full 180. If you don't turn from your sins fully, you will burn. Now remember, every man will face death and then judgment. And the wages of sin is death. That's the payment for sin. And we have all sinned, therefore we will all die. But the free gift of everlasting life is from God. And what you do to claim this gift is to put your full faith in Jesus Christ and turn from your sins. And you will live forever after you die. If you die without faith in Jesus, you will be going to hell. But Jesus Christ alone can let you into heaven. We must live for him and not, we can't, most Christians, they don't live like Jesus did. They're still in their sins. Those people are not Christians. Christian means you have turned from your sin and you are living like Christ did. And it might right now in your sins, it might seem impossible, like an impossible task and, and a task that you don't even want to do because you love your sins. But once you start to truly love God, then you will start to hate what God hates, and God hates sin. So the same sins that you used to love, you will no longer love. It's called being born again. That's why Jesus Christ says, you must be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven. Your old ways, the old things you used to do, you no longer have the will to do these things. We have to put our faith into Jesus and ask him for the Holy Spirit, and ask him to be born again, and he will start to fill your body with his own spirit. You won't have to do this all on your own. He can help you. But only with only those who seek God will find God. If you you have to read your holy Bible, guys, get a Bible. You can find them anywhere if you don't have one. And if you don't have much money, you can go to a thrift store. They might give you a Bible for free, most likely. If not, you can buy a Bible for a few dollars. Get yourself a King James version of a Bible, and start with the New Testament. The New Testament will show you how to live forever, and it will reform your mind. It is the Word of God. This book is a book of prophecy. The Bible is 66 books. Each chapter is a different book. Some books are just a letter. Some books are a collection of text. And if you read the Word of God, you will be reformed by the Word of God. Remember, you must be born again to enter heaven, and Jesus Christ is the only way into heaven. Buddha can't save you. Confucius can't save you. Jesus Christ says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You have any questions, man? Thank you very much. Just put your faith I into Jesus that. and turn from your sins. Remember, he, he knows how many hairs are on your head. He knows everything you've done in the shadows and in public, man. And when we die, we'll have to give an answer for everything that we've done in our lives. Now, if we have to give an answer before God and we've sinned in any way, we are going to hell. But if you live your life putting faith into Jesus, when you stand before God on judgment, 
Jesus will be there standing before God, vouching for you, saying, no, let this man in. He was evil before, but he lived for me now. He's deserving of heaven. The only way for us in, and the only way for us to clear our sins is through Jesus. When, when you sin, there needs to be an atonement of sin. See, when you die without Jesus, you're going to have to pay that atonement yourself. It's going to equal hellfire for you. But if you put your faith into the perfect lamb, the sinless man who paid for our sins, you will be let in, man. Remember, God, God does not desire anyone to perish. But those who don't follow Jesus and don't turn from their sins and are not born again will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Because no liars, no thieves, no homosexuals, no fornicators can enter. That's, that's called being born again. You no longer do these things. You are now clean. And only Jesus can help you do that, man. He is alive and he can live within you. You can have a relationship with God, man. It's not me speaking to you. It's Jesus, man. He wants his people to come to him. The people with ears, the people that he's calling home. He's saying, get right with God now. Turn from your evil ways. We've enjoyed them long enough. But there's a bigger joy in the world than sin. The, biggest, the, be, the, uh, the greatest commandment is to serve God with your entire heart, mind, and soul. And the second commandment is to love each other like you would love yourself. And loving each other is telling each other the truth. Even if it means someone might not like it, they might have that thought rattling around. Oh, watch out. This be, but uh, yeah, we have to be born again, guys. Put your faith into Jesus. Hey, stop shooting that man. He was listening to the gospel, man. Don't, don't kill him. Guys, don't kill people. Murder is a sin, guys. Sir, with the shotgun. Got him. Oh, you got him. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, man. Um, I used to live for myself. I used to... Did you know that if you're not serving Jesus, you are serving Satan? Now, I used to not be serving Jesus, and I would not say that I was serving Satan back in the day. But now that I'm saved, I realize that I was serving Satan. The thing is, you, can, you have to pick your master today, man. You're either serving God or you're serving the God of this world, which is Satan. Satan brings sin into the world. He brings evil. You have to decide what you stand for now, man. Oh, watch out. He's back. He's back. Look up. Look up. Look up. He's got a yoka. A yoka. Ooh, dude. And stop coming over here to kill. Is that Keto? Tato. Oh, that's my neighbor. He's like an evil neighbor. He's possessed by the Antichrist spirit. Well, thank you very much. I'll I'll check you out on YouTube. Awesome, man. Yeah, it's, it's that, the yellow uh, brain, man. Yeah, man. God God loves you. He's calling his people home who are actually seeking him. He's returning soon. We gotta get right with God. We can cast all of our addictions upon Jesus and he will take them away. It's a miraculous thing. 